Mr. Dallas Masuta and Alison Pazet, who has offered English marks for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most serious faults. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. should undergo the cross to save the human race. Grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if any who have bidden look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. God. For our response, can you take number four on your sheets? Do not forget the works of the Lord. Himself, 
becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Time to rise for the Holy Gospel. As I move forward in this, by reflecting on the cross, I remember a person coming, dad of three children, coming and telling, Father, because of my five years old son, I have a new life. Maja Pans was such a Burgia Paso, Maka Boring Jivit Melda. And then he started to tell that I was a drunkard. I would drink a lot. Every time, whenever I used to come back home late night drunk, Maja Burgi Maka Biakani. My children were scared about me. My two daughters, when they would see that I have come back, they would the house had a behind door, they would open and they would run to the neighbor's house. My one five years old son, he would 
tremble. He would shiver and he would hide himself under the bed. Kati pona lip talo. Table upon a lip talo. Birantim. He would get scared of his father. Ani osha sogle and deep sol tali. Every day as usual, the daughters would run, the child would hide himself under the chair, under the table or bed. As usual, if this one day, the father came down, he opened the door and he was shocked to see. First time in his life, he was shocked. He saw his five years old son. There was an altar as he opened the door, there is an altar and there was on the altar there was a huge cross. And that five years old, the land passwords as a Burgo, they also Dimi Ganun, the Altarakode Mahane Kuttalo. He was praying over to the altar. He was praying. And this father, when he entered, when the child heard that his father has entered, normally he runs, he hides himself. But this time was different. This time he came towards his father. He hugged him and he said to him, Dad, when will you hear our voice? When will you listen to us? Kedna pai kedna tu am chai toloi. And then the father was shocked. He didn't know what to say. By looking at his eyes to eye, he said to his son, Son, I will try my best. Pray for me. Uta, how? And my dear God's people, that father, three years past, he has not touched the alcohol. And now he is telling that because of his five years old son, because of his love, I have changed. I have found a new life. My dear God's people, Jesus also, who died on the cross, who saved the whole humanity. Like this son, five years old son, he saved his dad. Jesus, our Lord, our Master, has saved the whole humanity. And that's why we have come over here. Whenever we see cross, what do you see? What do you see whenever you see anywhere? If you see a cross, what comes to your mind? Jesus. Huh? Jesus died on the cross. That only we'll see. Let him die man there. What do we see on the cross? When we see the cross, what, what comes to our mind? It is that same cross has saved you and me. The same cross has forgiven us. The same cross has given us victory. Amka sutka dilya. Every time whenever Good Friday comes, he dies. And we come. Why do you have come now? Why do we celebrate this feast on today, 3rd May? Because church has kept, so we are going. Why we celebrate this feast on 3rd of May? Why? Anyone is there? Why? Out of love. Why do we celebrate? Okay. We celebrate because the old liturgy, the old calendar says that on 3rd May, Saint Helena, who the finding of the true cross in uh, 326 AD, after 200 years. No, she was the one who found this cross. There were three crosses she found. One was of Jesus and the other two were of the thief. And then afterwards, they wanted to know which is the true cross of Christ. So one lady who was sick, she was about to die. So they made him to touch the cross. The first one she touched, 
she was not healed. Second one she touched, she was not healed. The third one when she touched, she was completely healed. And that is the true cross, my dear God's people. So whenever we come, whenever we see cross, know it is the sign of victory, it is a sign of love. Now I saw in one house, there is a picture of Jesus and it is, he, uh, the, the, he was crowned and the picture, it is written, the face of love. So the cross is a sign of love, my dear God's people. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. On the cross he died. So whenever we see any cross, try to make a sign of the cross. When you make the sign, it is a first prayer what our parents have taught us. I mean, praise is very powerful. It's very powerful. When you do sign, we can namai aplya puta soya duhe so aat gyatali muntali baba. Puta, Bapa Che, Puta Che, Ani Pove Dot Che. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because it's a protection. Protection from evil, protection from sickness. Even when you are sick, when you are not able to do anything, the mother will do on, your, on yourself like Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Protect my child. You surrender, you give everything. Whenever there is a cross, it shows that there are Catholics who are staying over there. Because they believe that through this cross, the cross which was very shame, where the thieves were killed, but after the death of Jesus on that cross, it has a new meaning. And that same meaning we carry that there is, we have found victory. Now if you see the national flag, saffron, white and green. You just keep it down on the floor and walk it on. What will happen? Police will come and catch you. Because that flag shows that we have got freedom. So same way as a Christian, as a Catholic, cross is a sign of freedom for us. So my dear God's people, as you have come over here, I know you come every now and then. I know that this cross is very powerful. I am seeing from my childhood onwards. I've never come over here, but I've experienced that. You also must have experienced, that's why you are here. Whatever favors you have, uh, you have asked for, it has been granted. So let us grow in this faith, let us have faith that this cross has saved us. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. Let us stand and put our prayers and petition. Let us keep our hope and trust in our Lord. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. All together, Lord, hear our prayer. As we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Cross, we place all our petitions and intentions before our Heavenly Father. Our response after every intention will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and all religions, that they may be safeguarded from the dangers of the world, and that our church will be a place of mercy, hope, and love for all. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God's golden peace may reign over all the nations of the world, especially the war zone areas. We also pray for existing weather conditions. Lord, give us your patience to bear this weather as you bore the pains and suffered for us on the cross. Our response, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, you are a great physician and a healer. Touch all those who are weak, sick, homebound, old and infirm. May they feel your healing touch, be strengthened and comforted. Our response, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for the forthcoming elections. 
may they be conducted peacefully and that we may be blessed with leaders who will lead us lead our country in peace and harmony we pray lord hear our prayer lord we ask you to bless mrs alice disuza and her family as they celebrate the holy cross feast today may they be blessed abundantly and their intentions be fulfilled our response lord hear our prayers we bow our heads and remember in silence our very own special intentions and intentions of those who have asked us for prayers our response lord hear our prayers we make this prayer to christ our lord amen can you be seated during the preparation of this we'll sing hymn number 6 receive these eyes that look on you Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offence of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross. so that where death arose life might again spring forth and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominion adores and bows trembles before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation more may our voices be pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim number 7 on your sheet
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread for the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity. To the Pope Francis, kind of gospel graces, our Archbishop, for the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, his spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Forever and ever. Amen. 
the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
and let us sing glory to the cross of Christ. Number 11 on your sheets. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And be seated. I first of all want to thank uh, Ms. Alice, Ms. Mrs. Alice D'Souza and her family for the generous contribution they've given us for the Feast Mass. 
Out of all, I would thank uh, Father Manuel who preached both in English and Konkani. Most of you don't know, but Manuel was my altar boy in Victoria Church. And uh, now you've become a better preacher than I am. Thank you, Manuel. Okay. Very innocent, very lovely person. And uh, I would thank also all the other consequences for the Sanjay from the furthest. He's all the way from Patna. Then you have Father Deepak, who is from Chattisgarh. Then you have uh, Father Joshin, next door neighbor, uh, Dabul. You have Father Neil, the Chancellor of the Diocese. And you have Father Leslie, come all the way from Binder, just to be with us. Thank you, dear fathers, for your concentrating with us. I want to thank uh, in a very special way the choir who sing so well and they really prepared practice, etc. The lectors, the altar servers, another manual, the decorator, and Johnny the sound. He got his system now, that's what he tells me. So we don't really have to spend too much on it in the future. Thank you all you wonderful people who are coming from I know, all over Bombay. It's been really uplifting that you come and your devotion to the cross is really beautiful. Thank you once again, one and all. Let us stand for a final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy feast to each and every one. Happy feast. Please follow the instructions of the, of the ashes when coming to kiss the cross. Our decision of him, number 13 on the sheets on a hill, far away, the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.